In this short lecture, we'll be discussing the simple past tense. So let's first talk about forming the past tense. The general rule is to add ed to the end of the verb. For example, we have the verbs analyze, acquire, benefit, consist, and they turn into analyzed, acquired, benefited, consisted. We add ed to form the past tense form. And then we have the verbs that have irregular past forms. So for example, we have eat, ate, tell, told, hit, hit, and write, wrote. So you can see that with the irregular past forms, we don't add ed. They have forms that are not uh, following any kind of rule. So for these irregular past verbs, you just need to remember the form. Some things you should note. Academic verbs usually follow the regular past tense add ed rule most of the time. So if you look at this list again, right here, these words are all actually academic words. And as you can see, they follow the regular add ed rule for making past tense. On the other hand, we have these basic everyday English verbs, such as eat, tell, hit, and write. And you can see that they follow irregular past forms. So again, academic words are actually easier when it comes to forming the past tense than the basic everyday English words. Now what does the simple past mean? Uh, the simple past is used when we want to describe actions or events that began and ended in the past. So we have some example sentences here. We have the students finished the exam early. You see that finish follows the add ed rule. It took many years for the iPhone to be developed. The Battle of Puebla occurred on May 5th, 1862. So we actually have a date in the past. So this battle started in the past and ended in the past. And finally, we have the fact Abraham Lincoln was the 16th president of the United States. He was the president in the past and his time as president also ended in the past. So if we look at this chart, this is basically a summary of the past tense. The rule to form the past tense usually is to have a verb, you add ed, or it's an irregular past. And also if we look at this timeline, you can see we have present right here. Uh, this X represents the simple past, something that started and ended in the past.